You know, I never say Mr. Right. I, I think of it as Mr. Right now. Oh. I, mean, I don't want to drive the guy yeah. away so quickly. Right. But I've met lots of Mr. Wrongs. I mean, my first lover was incredible. He made me do all the Kama Sutra positions. This is my first... All of them? Yeah. My first time out. <laughs> and then on top of that, I had to swallow his sperm. Ew. I know. On the first day? Yeah. Well, you know, it was just incredible. I mean, it's really spoiled the experience for me. Yeah, I could see how that could give you a complex. Yeah, I wish I could overcome it. Well, you know, I have a problem with it, too. I mean, all those sex goddesses are always, like, swallowing every last drop, licking it up. You yeah, know, it looks so good. Well, I even made up a song about it, you know, it was bothering me so much. Really? Yeah. Kind of a familiar tune. When you have a problem, you write songs. Yeah. Swallowing sperm is something I would like to learn to do before I die. Some people like it. Why, oh, why can't I? Really? I know what you mean. It's not that I don't love you, dear. It's just that when the time draws near, I feel my throat get all choked up with fear. Yeah. Really, I get so nervous. Yeah, it's kind of like a gagging reflex. You know, you just can't control it. Yeah. I hear it's like, you know, you have to develop a taste for it. You know, like oysters. <laughs> yeah. Except I've already developed my taste for oysters. Maybe they could, like, make sperm-flavored ice cream or sushi-flavored sperm. Right. Or chicken with hot, spicy sperm sauce. Yeah. Or... You know, then I'd really get into it. But